find your own glow-in-the-dark water sword. These two sworn enemies from the evil galaxy called Blarg had decided to put an end to years of fighting with a water fight. But not just any old water fight. No, a glow-in-the-dark water fight. First, the weapons. Two intergalactic water canisters with holes in their lids. Take yours, Voltar. Now poke a length of space hose through like this. Push about 10 centimeters through. Then fix it in place with some Pluto plasticine. This will stop the water spilling out through the hole. Next, attach a handheld laser to the bottom of the intergalactic water canister. Thanks, Volta. You may be evil, but you sure are handy with the space tape. Good. Now you're one. Time to fill them with that weird clear liquid from Earth, water. Fill them right up, then screw the lid on. That's a fully loaded glow-in-the-dark water weapon. I'll just finish mine. There. Now, evil Volta, are you ready to fight for the universe? Switch on your laser. Prepare for battle. And remember, there can be only one winner. <laughs> Light rays can only travel in a dead straight line. When the Todd beam hits the wall of the tube, it bounces off and continues down the hose in a zigzag pattern. This is known as constant internal refraction. Because of the special light refracting properties of water, the bouncing is much greater when the hose is full of water. Each time the light rays hit the inside of the tube, a small amount is not refracted. It passes out through the walls of the hose, creating this spectacular glowing effect. OK, Volta. I'm going to send you around the world at the speed of light. Oh. It's just not a proper water fight till someone gets soaked. <laughs>